Hello fellow audio nerds, I'm Steph and this is Major Hi-Fi. The next few videos that I'll be posting here in the series are not going to be brand new models, but on the contrary, they will be of older models that have withstood the test of time, models that I think are really relevant in the audiophile conversation, but that I still haven't reviewed here on this channel. So without further ado, this week I got a chance to take a nice listen to the Westone W80. So let's go back in time, I'll share with you my impressions, and then I will meet you right back here for my overall thoughts. Alright, here we go. Hey everybody, welcome to my place. So today I've got with me the Westone W80. So let's see what's inside the box here. So as you can see, there's a good amount of stuff here. First off, there is a drawstring carrying pouch, a zipping hard shell, kind of small carrying case here, and then the larger um, with a bunch of different compartments in here to hold everything. Additionally, there's a nice cleaning cloth here, uh, microfiber on one side, kind of smooth on the other. There's a plethora of ear tips. There's both silicone and foam tips from Westone. In this bag, there's also a cleaning tool. We've got some kind of replacement shells with different colors that you can choose. Right now, we've got the blue ones on here, as you can see, but there's also red, there's sort of a goldish looking, and then there's a silver one as well. There's an extra cable here. This has a three and a half millimeter connector. Uh, it also has a microphone and remote for talking on the phone and being able to control the music. Um, on the ends that attach to the actual ear tips, you've got MMCX connectors. And then, of course, are the earphones. Now, these come with the ALO Reference 8 uh, Litz cable. Uh, definitely going to take a closer look at that, but here are the earphones themselves. So, as you'll see, the Westone W80 has the same kind of driver or driver housing shape and style as the rest of the W series. Um, so, it has sort of an unassuming look. The thing that sort of brings this into the fancier sort of look is actually the cable that comes with it, uh, an ALO cable. And the thing that I really like about the Westone W series and in, in saying that, the W80 as well, are the size of these driver housings. Now, they're sort of a small, medium size, and this is actually perfect for my ears. Um, and I've never met anyone who said that the West Tone W Series didn't fit in their ears. Um, it's just really nicely done. Because they're so small, um, they really depend a lot on the ear tips and how those fit in your ear canal. And because they come with a bunch of foam tips, um, that size really conforms to the individual shape of your ear canal. So even if one side is slightly different shape than the other, they still fit quite well. And they're very sound isolating at that too. They kind of act like earplugs. So they're great for taking on the go. Uh, if you, you know, are the type of audio file that travels a lot or you want something that you that is really really portable. As for the drivers of these earphones which I'm sure a lot of you are sort of like curious about here or it's worth mentioning there are eight drivers in here. Two are dedicated to the low frequencies, two are dedicated to the mids, and then four are dedicated to the highs. So you might think then that the highs are going to be pretty special. One thing that Westone sort of brags about with these earphones is that the drivers are super tightly matched. So this sort of helps not only the sound stage uh, and giving an ap accurate representation of left, right, and three-dimensional space, but they also, um, it really contributes to the accuracy of the pitch in the low end. So I am very excited to sort of share the sound profile with you. Now, as for the cable of these earphones, um, this is a really, really special one. This one is made by ALO, as I mentioned. It's their Reference 8 cable. Now, there are actually eight conductors in here that are all braided together. Now, four of those are silver-plated copper, and the other four are o -O OCC copper. Um, and so the idea behind it is that they're very active dynamically, um, kind of a low noise floor, low resistance sort of cable. Um, and not to mention, they also look really, really beautiful. Um, kind of has a look of jewelry to it. Yeah, I was just listening to the song Roll With The Punches by Dawes. And the kick drum in the song feels super natural and even and just realistic. There's definitely a sense of realism there. It is a little bit quieter in the mix than I prefer 
but despite that lightness and level, um, I do think that because it's so kind of like quick and punchy, it feels really nice and extended. This creates good separation between the kick and the bass guitar um, and just kind of gives the low end a sense of spatiality um, than, it, than it would have otherwise. Uh, I really like it. Wow, yeah, I was just listening to the song Pacifist's Lament by Ani DeFranco, and the bass guitar in the song definitely has weight. Uh, each note all up the neck feels very detailed and realistic sounding, um, very even, and it doesn't, no notes sort of like stick out from others. The electric guitars feel full and very harmonically complex, and then as for Ani's vocal, um, it comes through with a sense of thickness, but also feels very articulate. So there's just a sense of like realism and aesthetically pleasingness to these earphones. Additionally, the horns in the song really have a nice sense of warmth as well. Um, and so I really am, am digging the mid-range on these. It's full, but it feels really nice too. Oh my, this is really beautiful. Yeah, I was just listening to the song Kisas, Kisas, Kisas by Pink Martini. And the high frequencies are gorgeous. The guiro, the bongos, um, all of the sort of like high frequency information instruments there all come through with like a lot of detail and also just a sense of spaciousness in general. Um, I really enjoy actually that like the overall level of the highs feels like it's perfectly placed in the mix. It's not overly hyped at all, uh, despite the fact that four drivers are dedicated to the highs. Um, in fact, it feels just very nuanced um, and like it was as if the, the mixer had, it, had intended it to be that way. And it comes that way uh, um, as well with the vocal, which sounds both you know thick and detailed and you know full, but also has a beautiful and um, sort of like easygoing sense of air to it. So uh, emotionally, uh, it's quite impactful for the vocal as well. All right, I was just listening to the song Miles Runs the Voodoo Down by Miles Davis. And the soundstage on these is beautiful. Um, and it really actually contributes, I think, to the emotional impact of the song. There's so much specificity across all three dimensions that, you know, the spaciousness of like where the guitar is sitting compared to the drums that are sort of panned off to the sides, uh, compared to then the horn and, um, you know, the bass guitar, it's all just like very, very well placed in the left to right, but also has that nuance of of, of depth that I think is really powerful. In terms of the sense of height, there's, it is extremely nuanced. Um, the highs really sit way up high, the mids, you know, each instrument kind of has its own place. Um, the depth of the, of the lows um, does reveal itself with the anchoring bass in that song. Um, it doesn't feel like it lacks anything, um, even though the overall bass level is lower. It's not, it's not hyped at all, in other words. Um, but yeah, very well done. Anyway, I'm going to keep listening throughout the week, and I will um, meet you back at the Major Hi-Fi office for my overall thoughts. All right, here we go. Overall, the low frequencies of the W80 feel even and natural. And while it's a little bit modest level-wise for my own personal taste, I think that these will actually be a great option for those looking for sort of, um, you know, more of a neutral kind of sound signature. Uh, as a result, it really makes them nice for, for genres that need a harmonic complexity in the low end that isn't overblown. So things like jazz and classical sound really nice with these earphones in my opinion. The mid-range of the W80 feels full and even. There's a little bit of a boost in the low mids, which kind of uh, provides like a useful sense of weight to cellos, low horns, bass guitars. Um, additionally, there's a little bit of a kind of broad light cut right at the base of the high mids. And this doesn't really feel like a hole in the sound in, the, in that part of the spectrum at all. Uh, in fact, it just sort of creates a really nice sense of spaciousness. And that little broad cut balances with another sort of like a broad boost right at the top part of the high mids. And this kind of just provides 
a really nice sense of articulation, detail, clarity. Um, it's really a beautiful sounding earphone um, and one that that sort of evenness really contributes again to harmonically rich instruments. Overall, the high frequencies of these earphones sound even and really natural sounding actually. There is a little bit of a boost at the bottom area of the upper, upper octave and this provides sort of an audible feel, uh, an audible sense of airiness while maintaining the richness that you need for really uh, harmonically complex cymbals and strings. Um, that said, that audible air really contributes in a nice way to vocals. So while this is good for instrumental music with dense arrangements, it's also really nice for vocals. Overall, the soundstage of the W80 feels really well done to my ears. The sense of width feels wide and wide in the sense that it feels accurate and sort of transparent. Um, Definitely, I would describe the soundstage in general to have a feeling of naturalness. And that applies to the sense of depth too, for sure. Um, the contrast between intimate vocals and the things that are set further back in space, for example, um, is really well done and one that doesn't feel overly forced, but just sort of feels how the mixer intended that sense of depth to feel. The sense of height has really good contrast as well. Uh, the difference between sort of lower instruments and things that are sitting up in the high is really nice. The mid-range sits right in the middle. Um, it doesn't reach as low probably as I want it to just because I prefer that bass boost, but the contrast and the nuance in the height is definitely there and so therefore I think it's definitely an effective sense of height. Overall, the West Tone W80 fits super well in the ear, has great sound isolation. Um, it also has a very even and natural naturalness to its sound signature. Uh, this makes it really good for genres that have dense arrangements, but I would honestly say that in general, these earphones work for every genre. They work very well. Uh, if you do want a bass boost, these definitely won't be the ones for you, but if you like a natural sound that, you know, kind of has a sense of transparency to it, but also kind of makes music sound nice at the same time, um, I think the W80 will be a great fit for you. Thank you so much for watching. For another perspective on the West Tone W80, be sure to check out the link in the description, which links to my colleague's review of the same earphones. Uh, yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And for more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.